What's up Freedom Fam and welcome back. My name is Liberty Schultz and this is my channel. Welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. What we're going to be talking about today is catching and how to block, frame, that kind of stuff. Let's get on into the video. Hi, my name is Liberty Schultz and I'm a future college softball player. Welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. During this series you'll learn fielding, catching, hitting, and diving. Prepare to learn. So for this video on catching, what we're going to be talking about is framing, blocking, and throwdowns. Let's put on our catcher stuff. Alright guys, let's get on into practicing some catching stuff. I'm going to put all the links in the description to all this gear. So if you guys want to check out some catcher's gear or you want to go buy some, go click those links and check it out. Let's get on into the video. The first drill that you can do to work on blocking is just do a stationary drill, sending a ball down in front of you and just working on popping down and popping back up. Down, pop. And right here you really just want to work on form. It doesn't matter about quickness, you can work on that later. Just like that. And a way that you can work on framing without someone throwing it to you is just work on getting your angles better. Um, so working on shifting down, staying low, shifting that knee in, turning this way, you know, working on that low pitch, that kind of stuff, just working on those angles. After working on those still drills, what you want to do is get someone who can throw you the ball like your mom or your dad or a friend or whatever, someone who lives in your basement or whatever, I don't care. They just get, get someone to throw you a ball and uh, we're gonna show you this next drill that you can work on for framing and blocking. So what you're gonna do for this drill is you're gonna need your full gear on and your mask. And uh, right now we're just gonna work on blocking. So you're gonna get someone to throw you a ball on the ground right in front of you and you're just gonna work on replacing those knees with those feet. So I'll show you a side view. Replacing those knees and down. Like that. And you want to make yourself as big as possible so you stop that ball and really get that hand behind and make yourself big. So here we go, I'll show you this drill. Then after going straight down the middle, you can get them to move you to your left and to your right. So let's go ahead and do that. What we're going to do is just work on framing. So you have your person that's throwing it, throw it to the left inside knee, the right inside knee, up top and down low. So that's how you're gonna do that glove movement. This, 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 this. So you really wanna keep that elbow bent and kind of move your head around it, just like this. Just a quick turn, drop that knee if you want to. This side, you can really drop that knee. Now what we're gonna work on is throwing down. I'm just gonna show you guys the footwork and how to pop up really fast and just kind of walk you through it. It is just a quick pop. I think it's the fastest. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. You wanna be in a different stance when there's a runner on first. This is your relaxed stance. This is when you're just giving signs, that kind of stuff, okay? And then there's your up stance, like this. You're gonna be up. Up on your toes a little bit more. I'll show you that from the side. Like that. Work. And pop. One thing after you pop is making a hard and accurate throw. The best way to do that is to make sure you follow through on your throw and just throw it as hard as you can and accurate. The best way to do that is to pop up, pop up, throw, and follow through. You want everything you got, especially if you're a small catcher, going towards second base. So one of the biggest parts about catching is making sure that you're super friendly to the umpire. That can change a game. That can make or break you in a game if your umpire is not on your side. So a great way that I do this is just at the beginning of the game, I go up to the umpire, shake his hand, be, you know, real smoothy, start smoothing him over, you know. And it's not just being smoothy, you're being friendly, right? They like friendly people. Go up to him, shake your hand, hey sir, hey blue, how are you doing, what's your name? Um, thanks for being out here today, that kind of stuff. And then, you know, I, a go-to one is always talk about the weather. Oh man, it's so hot out here. Compliment him for being out here in the heat. If it's really cold, gosh, it's cold out here. Thanks for being out here. This is some tough weather to umpire in. That's a, that's a big game changer right there, being nice to the umpires. And they love talking about anything. They love talking about other games they've umpired, that kind of stuff. Um, so umpires will usually be friendly back to you. Sometimes you get some that don't want to talk to you, but uh, just try to make the best of it and try talking to them because that is a 100% 
game changer. So another big part of catching, besides the fact of all these drills and blocking and framing and throwdowns, the huge part of it is mental, it's all mental. Having that mental mindset to be the leader, you're seeing everything on the field and always being ready to take command and be a leader on the field. That is a huge part of catching and you wanna make sure that you are in charge out there. People are always looking to you. Literally, they're all looking towards home plate. You are the, the captain. So you wanna make sure that you, your body language shows that you're, you're confident and you're in charge and you're not letting the game, oh, I didn't get it in a bat. I'm gonna sag my shoulders because your team will see that and they'll feed off that and they will start being negative. So you wanna always be positive, have a good attitude and be a great leader out there. And the final thing I have to say about catching is you gotta be tough back there. You're gonna get hit with balls, you're gonna get hit with bats sometimes, especially if you're playing at a younger level. You're gonna get trucked at home. You're gonna get mean umpires. You're gonna have to deal with all the junk. Oh, and not to mention, you're gonna hear everything the fans say behind you. And moms can be mean. I don't care whose child it is. They can be mean and you hear everything they say. So you gotta be mentally tough and physically tough. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten injured just because I was catching. So you gotta be super tough mentally and physically. Once again, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, I'm gonna put all the links in the description to my gear, my shin guards, my chest protector, my helmet, my glove, and any other stuff I use during softball and while I'm catching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below whatever the heck you guys want to if you guys have another Tutorial Tuesday idea. And also hit that subscribe button while you're here. If you're new, you haven't already hit it, hit that subscribe button down there. Please do me a favor here. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed Tutorial Tuesday. Remember to create your own box and embrace the grind, you guys. We'll see you guys on the next vlog.